dudes, welcome to the Full Moon Universe vidcast of August 16th, 2023. Whole bunch of stuff I want to show you, things that were in progress creating, making, about to release. Uh, first off is Tiny Terrors, our first blind box series. Uh, this took forever, you know, uh, I think we did a really good job. It's coming out in October. We may have some early uh, pieces, maybe the end of September. But it's a collection of some of the more well-known Full Moon characters crossing over to maybe four different films. We'll, of course, have these available at Full Moon Horror, but they're going to be out at retail, uh, Hot Topic, Spencer's, a number of stores are bringing these on. And, of course, the fun is you don't know exactly what you're getting, uh, but there's a collection of 12. Uh, two of them are chasers. They're sort of secrets. I won't tell you about those. But in this blind box series, you'll find Blade and Tunneler. Leech Woman, Radu, Baby Oopsie, Torch, Six Shooter, The Ginger Dead Man, E.B. the Evil Bong, and Jack Attack from Demonic Toys. Um, I've seen the sculpts. They look fantastic. And uh, I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to do this forever. And it's hard because these little characters, you know, are the molding is expensive. It takes a long time to put this together. But we finally did it, and sometime mid-October, we should have this here at Full Moon Horror, and it should be at retail, certainly in time for Halloween. Then moving backwards, on September 1st, we're finally premiering Demonic Toys Jack Attack, another spinoff from the Demonic Toys universe. Of course, we made a bunch of Baby Oopsie movies, very proud of those. Jack Attack is a lot of fun. It, it's, it's, it's just kind of wall-to-wall -wall madness. I think you guys will enjoy it. It'll be out on our channel on Amazon. It'll be out at fullmoonfeatures.com and eventually down the line to be in other channels and, of course, on Blu-ray and, and DVD. So as you know, I'm not a fan of CGI. Uh, our movies use practical effects. Uh, if an actor is performing in Demonic Toys or Puppet Master, they're looking and seeing generally at the actual puppet, the monster, the creature. Uh, the CGI thing is, uh, I think, usually kind of fake and pretend because you know those actors are performing against the green screen. Having said that, uh, there are a number of really successful movies that have been made over the years with like Sharknado, movies where these CGI characters, you know, gobble up people. And, you know, they're successful and they're entertaining. So we decided to make a movie that kind of is a send up. It's more like a horror comedy of these CGI uh, creatures that devour people. And it's called Bad CGI Gator. And yes, we start shooting this movie in two short weeks. You can imagine what it's about. And what's cool about it is we can break all sorts of rules because, yes, if we were trying to imitate a big studio CGI movie about a huge gator eating teenagers, we would keep the gator on the ground and try to make it as authentic as possible. But in the case of Bad CGI Gator, I mean, I, our gator can fly. You know, we can just do crazy, silly stuff with it. So I'm excited about this movie just because it's different. And, and again, it's definitely more like a horror comedy. And finally, you know, we keep licensing new movies that are interesting. You know, when you go to our Full Moon Features site, yes, we have the Full Moon movies I've made over many, many years. But we've licensed really weird exploitation movies, which you can also find on our channel on Full Moon Features. And, uh, you know, some are made by Jess Franco. Some are elite productions from Europe. And some are from a company that made a lot of weird movies back in the 70s and 80s called Eurocine. So right here, and this just became available, is the um, Eurocine collection. And I like doing things a little different. So, yeah, we could have put it in a, your basic, uh, you know, Blu-ray case with a wrap. But I thought it'd be fun, like we've done in the past sometimes, to put it in a old-style big VHS box um, like I used to do back in the 80s with the Wizard Video movies. Those were all released originally in the big VHS box. So in this case, you get the, the, the big VHS box, you know, on the back are the posters of the six crazy movies that are inside, like Panther Squad and, and Downtown Heat and uh, Night of the Eagles. But what's also cool is, you know, you open it up, and, you know, inside is the, is the, um, the actual case with all the, you know, all the discs. But again, just to kind of pay some respect to these movies that were all theatrically released back in the day, we've also created these uh, mini posters so that um, you kind of see what they're like. So, you know, it's, it's a poster of every, every one of these uh, films. And on the back, of course, is all the description of the movie and the release date and, 
cast and all that kind of stuff. So what we're doing with this um, is to kind of bring you guys into the tent so you remember that <laughs> all the movies we're making are first released on Full Moon Features. We're adding this as another incentive. So as of now and until we run out, if you subscribe for one year to Full Moon Features, which is, I think, the best deal in town for $59.95, this $100 item is yours for free. Um, this is collectible. This is really, really cool. And Full Moon Features, I mean, let's face it, we, you know, we're releasing three, four movies a week. Uh, sometimes, you know, we, we upgrade masters uh, so that you're seeing things for the first time, you know, with, with an H HD master as opposed to SD. And all the movies are coming out on, on, our, uh, on our streaming site. So the movies we're talking about, and of course, Subspecies, we just recently released. A whole bunch of stuff coming down the line, uh, certainly a new movie every month. So sign up and get your free uh, Eurocine box set collection. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to still try to do this every two weeks and maybe three weeks. And I'll do this for sure after we shoot bad CGI Gator and send you guys, uh, make some of the photos and behind the scenes stuff available. That's it. Take care. Ciao.